it's Mary. I hope that you are doing well. So we are going to do a couple things today. We're going to investigate balance and pivots and we're going to do that in building a mobile. And because we haven't done a lot with astronomy, I thought at least my mobile I would incorporate astronomy into it. And so my mobile is going to be a mobile with planets. Let's take a look at what we need. To make our mobile, we will need cardstock or something to draw, make our pieces out of, string, straws, and some glue. You'll also need a pair of scissors. And because I wanted my mobile to incorporate the planets, I printed planets onto cardstock. And for each planet, I made two. And then I used glue to glue them together so they're double sided. I used a hole punch to punch a hole in them. And then I attached string. And with the string, we will attach the pieces to the mobile. If you use the straws that are bendy, you are going to want to cut right at that bend. And then the small pieces with the bend, you can just discard. Or if you can think of another project, then you can use them with that. Then I took the end of one of them and pinched it and kind of folded it like that. I placed one inside of the other. And I made two this size and then I made one that had an additional. So it's two pieces that are two straws attached and one piece that is three straws attached. And then I tied on a bigger piece of string to use as the part that's going to hold the whole mobile up. And I started attaching the planets. And for me, the easiest way to do this next part is to get some tape and tape up your mobile. So you can see that mine is not balanced right now, but I have Mercury and Venus on that side. So next I'm going to attach the Earth and Mars. And I'm just going to keep adjusting them after I get them on there to the point where it hangs straight. So I tied on the Earth. It's still not balanced properly. But next I'm going to tie on Mars. So with this project, what we're doing is trying to balance the weight of the things hanging on both sides. So you've got your pivot point here, and it's kind of like a seesaw, if you've ever played on a seesaw. If when, when one of you gets on, that one side goes down all the way, and then as you balance the weight off, it brings it more into balance. So I've already attached the lower pieces, so I also have to make sure that I hang these planets high enough so that the lower, what's going to be on the lower place, will freely be able to move. So I'm going to get Mars tied on and I will be right back. 
So before I go any further with this, I am going to cut off the XX string so we don't have extra weight from the string. And then I am going to move the planets on this portion so that everything is in balance. And then I'm going to check and make sure that it is all able to move freely. Because with the mobile, mob you want your pieces to be able to freely move. So yep, Earth is going to be just good enough there to be able to freely move around. Actually, maybe we'll move Earth in a little bit, move that in a little, and move. See, and I did that, and it kind of threw all of my balance off. So I'm going to readjust. All right, I think we are basically in balance there. So I'm going to attach my lower planets. The same thing, I'm going to move them around to balance them out and then we'll come back and take a look at how it is. So I've been adjusting and basically I've got most of it hanging pretty close to even. This side is up a little, so I'm just going to try moving that over a little bit and adjusting it. And it's a very delicate balance here, because even moving it that little bit has caused the other side to go up. So it's a matter of... And maybe it's not quite even, but I think I'm going to call that good. I do have some problems with the bottom, so I'm going to raise the whole thing and try to fix the balance on the bottom. And again, what I'm going to be doing is just playing with the bottom pieces and getting them so they are balanced. So I grabbed the scissors. At this point I'm going to cut off some of that extra string. And I'm going to be careful that I don't cut the string that the planets are attached with. So as we can see on this side, this side is pretty close. This side is still way off. So that Jupiter is really much larger than Neptune. So I'm going to move Jupiter back that way a little. And even that little change has helped immensely. So now I'm going to work on getting that side more in balance. All right. Well, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to tighten all the strings to make sure the planets are hanging on there and attached tightly. And then we'll come back and look at the completed mobile. So I've completed the mobile and it is hanging pretty well, I have to say. Um, so the string that is at the center of the bar going across kind of acts as our, well, not kind of, it does act as our pivot 
So that is where the center of the balance will be. And when you are arranging your mobile, you want to keep the weight equal on both sides of that pivot. So if you just noticed, it wasn't hanging straight there. And what I did was just move the string so it was closer to the side that was weighing it down. Is that right? Is that what I did? Yep, I moved it closer to the side that was weighing it down and that helped to balance it out. So if you are making yours and the weights aren't quite right, you don't necessarily have to change the whole design, just adjust it a little. I'm not sure that you can see the whole thing in that view, so I'm gonna step back just a little so you get a better view of what we have. And there it is. It's able to move in many directions. And see there, I'm not real happy with that. So we're going to, again, adjust Neptune and Jupiter a little bit. And there we are. I'll put that down and I'll be right back. So that was our mobile where we used the pivot and we used balance to create a mobile. And that focused a lot on the balance part of it. If you really liked this activity, we will also be doing later in the week a more art-based mobile. So we won't talk as much about the balance and things like that in that mobile video. We'll talk more about the creative aspect of what you make. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will say that mobile making can be frustrating if you have problems with the balance, but just be patient. Um, don't try to accomplish it all right away. Um, just take your time, adjust weights. So I made sure that the planets that I put on the same bar, opposite ends of the same bar were pretty equal in weight so they would balance out. And then once you have ones that are close in weight, you can adjust where your strings are to or the location of your planets on that bar to help balance it out also. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope that you have a great day and a great summer and we'll see you again next week.